All right, guys, it's shoulder day, and my left shoulder was not happy still, so instead of doing the push jerks and then going to the military press, I figured it'd probably be best that I just do the military press and I focus on my heavy doubles with it instead because it was more of the descent, the eccentric portion of the lift. I'm sure, you know, exploding into the weight and throwing it up over my head wasn't making it happy either, but that's where I felt it the most. So I was like, okay, you know, I know I'm going to be doing lighter weight this way, but at the same time, I'll be pushing myself with heavy doubles, you know, in a different aspect. So, you know, not a huge deal, but you, as you guys saw there, I started with 115. Um, my first working set was actually 95. I just didn't get it on video. Uh, so long story short, um, you know, started with 115 then on the video, working myself up 20 pounds at a time. And as you guys see here, I'm up to 215, weight's moving well and everything. So I finish up at 235, which, uh, you know, isn't a PR or anything, but is definitely one of the heavier shoulder presses or military press that I've done. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you know, and then moving forward, I did just a couple sets of five and it was with 135. Well, it was three sets to be exact, but you know, just controlling the weight, exploding up and everything. And then one thing, too, people don't focus on when they're doing overheads, whether it's log press, military press, push jerk, split jerk, whatever, is flexing the entire body. You know, I'm taking a big air, I'm squeezing my core, I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm like basically flexing all the way down to the floor so that I'm stable and in control. And if you have more stability that way, then you have a better, smoother press. You know, in other words, you know, you're not going to fall over or feel like you're going to fall over or lose your balance. So then you can focus on the actual press aspect. You know, but um, moving on from this, I did just some dumbbell push jerks and really, really light. I only used 50 pounds and I did five on each arm. I went three sets back and forth just continuously. But I was really trying to just focus on, you know, driving and creating that kinetic energy from the floor up and everything with just minimal movement. So it's like I'm not squatting a lot into it. I am just trying to create an athletic movement, like I said, from the uh, ground up. And I think this is great for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete. It doesn't matter if you're a power lifter. Th this is just a great way to get muscle recruitment and become a little bit more explosive, a little bit more powerful. But one thing that a lot of people forget to do when they're doing this and like Olympic lifts and everything else is the controlled aspects. As you guys can see, I'm trying to have a decent control on my descent there on that eccentric portion just so you know i'm working on those muscles too that negative part of the lift is so important and so many of us have neglected it and i know i did for many many years and it could be the cause and source to so many injuries just because like yeah we're powerful we're explosive but what happens when we have to control the weight just a little bit more than normal well that's when we can get hurt and everything but that's all I really did. There's a couple other things I did I forgot to get on video, like Turkish get-ups. But, um, you know, that is for next time then. I'll try to get those on video so you guys can see it. But this was my shoulder workout for the day. If you guys have any questions for me, you know, to feel free to reach out. <clears throat> if you don't already, please subscribe to the e-hoisting channel here. And, again, thanks for watching, you guys.